The gloom and doom of a shaky market is everywhere right now. Social media, the news, podcasts, wherever you look, you can find bad news about the housing market. So it makes you wonder, how exactly are experts forecasting the end of 2023 for housing? Hint, it's kind of a moving target. Local and national data vary, but an overview from MBA, Fannie Mae, NAR, and Realtor.com give a snapshot of what they think is coming ahead for home prices. What's really interesting here is the range. Nobody's really on the same page. Fannie Mae is predicting a price increase of 3.9%. MBA has us staying steady, while NAR and Realtor.com have us dipping down just a little bit. And the decline prediction could be based on seasonality as Q4 tends to generally be a time in most markets where prices dip because activity is not quite as high. But really, it's the mortgage rates that are truly going to drive buyer decisions. These mortgage predictions actually give me some hope for the end of the year, because if we can get back into the sixes, that's going to get a lot more buyers out into the market. But that interest rate is really going to depend on what inflation is doing. And even if the rate of inflation continues to drop, we won't necessarily see the rates do the same thing because the Fed doesn't want to immediately drop rates and then run the risk of inflation popping up again. And remember, lower interest rates mean more buyer activity. More buyer activity means more competition for houses and more competition for houses equals higher prices. And these same experts are throwing out their predictions on how many houses they think are going to sell by the end of the year. And on this one, at least, they all seem to be within a somewhat similar range. A really interesting article came out from the Wall Street Journal in early September, and it discussed the fact that home price decreases may already be done. According to the article, after declining on a year over year basis for five consecutive months, the longest run of declines in 11 years, U.S. home prices rose in July. It's just like I reported in a video several weeks ago. The price crash already came and it already went. It comes back to inventory and gosh, if I could make a dollar for every time I said that word, but inventory is going to continue to be the crux of this issue. Inventory was already low because of the fallout of new construction after the Great Recession. And now add to that that with higher interest rates, a lot of homeowners are choosing to stay put rather than put their inventory on the market to buy something else. And around and around and around we go. Take a look at this graph from that Wall Street Journal article I was referencing. This shows the median home price change year over year. When interest rates doubled, there was a correction over 2022 and 2023. But now you can see at the end of that graph, the median prices are starting to go back up. If you are still waiting for the crash, I think you missed it. And the reason you missed it is because it wasn't a crash. It was a speed bump. That Wall Street Journal article went on to quote Diane Swank, chief economist at KPMG, saying short of a flood in supply, it's hard to bring these prices down. Swank didn't see this coming. At the end of 2022, she predicted that home prices were going to drop by 20%. And now she's saying that prices may end up slightly from the year prior. In short, economists have been wrong about this market. A panel of more than 100 economists and housing analysis surveyed by Pulsenomics in March expected home prices to fall by 2% year over year by the end of 2023. When surveyed again in August, the panel predicted that prices would rise by 3.3% this year instead. The housing market is a moving target right now, and it's hard to predict. What happened in housing as a result of the pandemic was completely unprecedented. So it would make sense that the aftermath would be unprecedented too, right? In my area of Alachua County, closed sales, cash sales, and new listings are down. But at the same time, the average sales price and the inventory is up. Now, neither are up by very much, but nothing is crashing. What I honestly, truly believe is that we are going to go back to the market of 2019. We have to set aside the unicorn years and get ready to embrace the more normal market that I believe is coming. And I want you to pay attention because as we go into Q4, there is a seasonality to real estate that's really important and a lot of people including the media, tend to miss it. And just because the seasonality causes the rate of growth and appreciation to slow down, 
It absolutely does not mean that prices are crashing. I'm Lindsay Johnson, your resource for all things real estate. See you next time.